Oh, good morning all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old git in the corner on uh, a rather sunny Wednesday morning. Um, plenty of white lines appearing out there that seem to be expanding as usual. So I don't think the sun will last too long if you know what I mean. Now the last couple of days um, I've had to spend quite a few hours at the hospital. Um, nothing seriously wrong at the moment <laughs> um, as you know I had problems with my legs and my feet swelling um, they've been looking into that and um, for some reason they also want to look into my heart and my lungs and after investigations again yesterday they also want to look at my kidneys um, I have got to go back one day this week before Friday um, apparently there's some more pills waiting for me at the dispensary which they can't send out I've got to go and pick them up in person which is a ball ache but as you can see by the bruising there's been fucking needles in everywhere I had um, a CT scan hence a big hole there for a cannula um, but to be honest, I've been feeling like a well-used fucking voodoo doll. <laughs> I mean, that, that one, that they took, I think it was five attempts to get blood out of that arm, just for a test. Um, there is a scar across there, um, and they were trying to get in through the scar, would you believe? But um, this is ongoing, I'm going to have more appointments, i got to go back again next month and October, and what have you but we'll talk all about that in the live stream tonight um, I won't do it in the video today bore people with that but obviously having spent many an hour up there I haven't been keeping up with a lot of what's been going on I haven't literally had the time I've been coming home and literally falling asleep um, I did fall asleep in the hospital at one point but that's another story to discuss tonight but when I've been looking around, a quick look around, I mean, as fucking Starmer got some serious mental health issues. That, that's what I think. He has gone absolutely ballistic. You know, he's, <laughs> he's not only calling us far right just because we don't agree with him. We don't like the fact that People are starving and being made homeless and put on the streets in this country so he can fucking pay for other other countries. <coughs> and apparently he's gone over to Ireland, Northern Ireland, and basically called the whole fucking lot over there as racists because they're fed up of having their culture destroyed, their homes destroyed, their way of life destroyed by channel paddlers fucking unbelievable and now we've got that silly bitch Cooper apparently I mean I haven't looked into what she's been saying but the gist of it seems to be that if you disagree with a woman or you annoy a woman that makes you a fucking terrorist fucking what is going wrong in this fucking country? I mean, you've got Reeves robbing blind our pensioners. They're taking away the heat support, the power support fucking payments in the winter. I mean, pensioners are struggling anyway. Yet these arrogant bastards claim thousands every year for their second homes. They claim for the heating. They even claim for their fucking pets, for crying out loud. Now you tell me, where's the fairness in that? These are the bastards that earn thousands every year, and with their little side lines, some of them earn millions. Yet they're prepared to take food off a pensioner's table and heating out of a pensioner's measly little flat to fucking pay for their luxuries. You arrogant bastards 
And I mean, the mainstream media are absolutely helping them with all this shit. Now, I haven't looked at the reports again because I haven't been in a lot. Um, multiple stabbings with the uh, fatalities in Manchester. Uh, more again in London. Uh, the facts around some of them, the police are hiding again. So, obviously, people are making their own minds up. What's happening? Who's done what? And they're still hiding the fact and not discussing the fact that there's still hundreds of channel paddlers coming in every day. Especially why the weather's been good. And uh, one mainstream channel yesterday, I did see a report. They weren't interested in the stabbings in this country. Won't talk about them. But the fact that uh, a motorcycle racer was killed on the Isle of Man. And they were absolutely shown up for their bias in that report um, by Steve Hillier, who is a motorcycle racer, quite a famous one. If you're in motorcycle circles, you will have known of him. Um, he is the top rider from the Isle of Man, rides the Isle of Man and other places. And uh, he was being questioned about the fact that there's been over 200 odd deaths at the TT and the Manx Grand Prix. And he very rightly pointed out to the guy that was interviewing that yes, but that has been since 1911, since the first ever TT. 1911. Now there's races most weekends over the year uh, on the Isle of Man. And 250 riders have been killed apparently since 1911 and they were trying to make a big thing out of this one rider being killed trying to say that the, the sport has wiped out hundreds implying that it's happened in the last year again we all know they're biased reporting but uh, they were put right by Steve Hillier <laughs> well done mate but you know Starmer's strangling the mainstream media we know the government control them uh, it is just a deluded wanker he really is he's what you would describe as a dictator I mean jailing somebody for hurty words on the internet yet somebody like this is free to run the roam the fucking streets. Now everybody is turning against him. His support is zero. Um, even his own party, members of his own party, have had a fucking enough of him. That's how bad it is. But I'll leave that there for today. Till I've done, I can't say too much because I haven't looked it too much, and I like to do my research on things first. Um, but I will say now, apparently, if you live in Norfolk or Suffolk, look out for these. Yep. Now, it's called a raft spider. They've been reintroduced into the wild. They were indigenous in this country at one point, apparently. But would you believe they can grow up to six inches? The size of a rat, people are saying. Apparently they're not venomous or poisonous and they're not dangerous to humans. They prefer living in wet areas. So if you've got damp, yeah, they could call that a wet area. But they're saying they're not dangerous to humans, but apparently they do eat fish. So they're going to have some form of fucking bite on them, aren't they? But anyway, guys, I'll leave that there for today. Just a quick one to uh, get back into the swing of things. Don't forget, I'll be live tonight from 7 o'clock as usual. If I can stay awake. Done quite well Friday. And uh, I'll let you know what's happening with the hospital and go into the NHS now having experienced A&E for no apparent reason other than the GP couldn't be fucking arsed to see me. But until later, guys, as always... Stay safe, stay strong, stay absolutely free. Respects, guys.